TGIF wordsmiths of the HQ universe. Today's gift, international females. You get it, TGIF? Well, it's women, but same thing. Welcome to the best 15 minutes of your life. This is HQ Words. I am your host, a national woman named Anna Roisman. Ooh, you can find me here all over social media. We did it. We made it to Friday. It is a glorious feeling to have the weekend upon us. So let's celebrate International Women's Day with everyone all over the map with a little cash. Are you with me? Tonight's prize is $1,000. Oh yeah, you can use some of that to go out tonight. But first, let's spin the wheel around my face for your letter. I want to try staring directly into your eyes so the wheel lands on the exact letter that you're thinking of right now. Can I be telepathic? Did it work? Did you get the letter you always hoped for? Oh, well, whatever it landed on is yours for the game. It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. Let's have a fun Friday night. Here we go. Puzzle one. Your first hint is afternoon break. How lovely. Type in the letters P, T, and C. This is a nice light break. Okay, nothing too intense. An afternoon break. And I'm not talking about animals. What am I talking about animals? Wow. And the answer is catnap. Take that catnap. I hope you took a catnap so you're prepared for HQ. You got all your rest. 134,000 solved the puzzle. 11,965 eliminated on catnap. I like that word, catnap. It sounds like it would be a great TV show. I know you're all night people since you're here playing with me, but maybe you have a thing for daytime programming. Who is this soap opera cliche? This is a trope that shows up in a lot of soap operas, okay? This character isn't necessarily a good one. In fact, out of the two people, they're specifically the worst one. Soap opera cliche. And I'm talking about the evil twin. They're not like that. They're not that evil, but they're an evil twin. 90,464 got it. 43,993 wiped out off the bat on evil twin. It's got to be fun for an actor in a soap opera to play their evil twin, right? Just put on a little facial hair and all of a sudden, ooh, they show up as the evil twin. Hey, word nerds, have you heard the word? Monday night, we are bringing back movie night. And this time it is movie musicals, which is near and dear to my heart. So the lights, the camera, the action, it's all happening at 9.30 p.m. here on Monday night. I hope you'll play. Ever walk into someone's home and you think, wow, they have it all together. Sometimes all it takes is a nice light. Lighting is everything. I always say this in restaurants, in homes, in offices. And if it's a nice light, ooh, feels so good. And tell me, have you, did you ever hang from one of these? I know someone who has. The answer is chandelier. From the chandelier. From the chandelier. Oh, yes, she did. See ya. Hangs from the chandelier. 85,169 got it right. 6,895 eliminated on chandelier. Don't actually hang from a chandelier. You might fall down, <laughs> okay? They can't be that sturdy. If you've played the game before, you know that I have a strong love for shoes. Oh my God, shoes, shoes. Tell me these low-cut shoes. Traditionally, <laughs> women have worn these, but I don't want to limit anybody. Where are the shoes? They're great for every day or for special occasions. And I gotta say, they look cute with a little white sock rolled down. No. They're also someone's name, maybe? I'm talking about Mary Janes. You know Mary Janes? Look, there they are. Those are my legs. I brought you a picture of my actual legs right now. I am wearing white socks with Mary Janes. 49,000 got it right. 36,000. Did you just get schooled on Mary 
Mary Janes? You got schooled out of the puzzle. That's okay. It's a very specific shoe. Not everyone wants to wear them. But you can wear your Mary Janes anywhere you want. Out for dancing, out to dinner, or hey, why not even at the billiards hall? You know what goes on there? Billiards. I feel like you're either amazing at this sport or you've never tried it. There's really no in between. But using this stuff, ooh, baby, it makes you look like you know exactly what you're doing at the billiards hall. And the answer is pull cue chalk. Try saying that three times in a row. Pull cue chalk, pull cue chalk. That's hard. That's hard to do. 34,188. Got it, right? 17,000 eliminated on pool cue chalk. You know when you use the chalk on your on your pool stick? I mean, on your cue? You look like a pro. Even if you don't know how to play, everyone's going to think this person is intimidating. It looks like everyone here is still clear of that eight ball because you just made it halfway through the game. You did. Oh, you're so close to winning that gold, baby. We will have a party. I'm thinking in my backyard because I'm making this barbecue classic. I better make a lot of these because there are so many of you joining me. I just have one question. Do you like them spicy or sweet? Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but this is not a vegetarian's first choice or any choice for that matter. Baby back ribs. And the barbecue classic is, oh, you know it. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Chili's 31,000. 31,000 are eating baby back ribs tonight. 3,900 eliminated. It's a great food, right? But do you like them sweet or spicy? You gotta let me know. And did you get enough ribs? Did you get ribs or maybe a hot dog? Since we're all together and it's Friday, hey, let's play this party game. Let's do it. There's a big weird die involved and my favorite part, lots of words in this game. Lots of them. Alliteration, ooh, even, even better. That's a bonus for you and for me. Think about this party game playing a party game right now but it's not this one which is scattergories you know scattergories 25,401 got it right 6,700 eliminated on scattergories scattergories not scattergories scattergories that's how you say it it's a great game though you got to roll the dice you got to write down a bunch of words based on letter anyway we love letters one of the greatest things in my life though is my dog. It's unconditional love, and you may find that in something else like this unusual pet. You don't have to live on a farm to have this pet. They're friendly, they're cute. But if I heard you had one, I'd think, wow, that is unique. But listen, as long as it brings you joy, right, motto of 2019, if it brings you joy, you have whatever pet you want, unusual or not. But this one is a pot-bellied pig. Here's a pot-bellied pig. Cute, in a sweatshirt. <laughs> I like that pot-bellied pig. 16,856 got it right. 9,400 eliminated on pot-bellied pig. And in the chat right now, I want to know, you saw that pig that I just showed you. What would you name that pig? Give me a name. Who's naming the pig tonight? Because it's our new unusual pet. We need a name. I bet some people are asking their family right now for a pot-bellied pig. But mom is not into getting a pet. Hey, tell me this spelled out abbreviation. Maybe she wrote this. Maybe you're not sure about something you either agreed to or not. Or you're 100% certain about something that happened. Spelled out abbreviation. And the answer is, if I recall correctly, otherwise known as IIRC, 7,696, got it right? 11,172, you got schooled on if I recall correctly. Schooled again, out of grad school, out of elementary school. It's I-I-R-C. Also, I gotta say, some people named the pig Franklin. The pig got a name. His name is Franklin. Thank you so much.
Now we just need to find him a home. If I recall correctly, you just breezed through nine puzzles and you have now made it to the final puzzle. Are you feeling like a finalist on a Friday? Ooh, I hope so, because we started tonight's game with over 150,000 players. And here we are at the end of the road. Hey, that's a song. Your final hint should take you back. What is this playground game? It's hashtag Fallback Friday, so put your mind in the playground. Maybe you remember recess in school. This is, a, this is a fun game to do with friends. Or the win. First win of the weekend. The answer is double dutch jump rope. Oh, who's jumping rope tonight? Who's jumping up and down? Oh, I hope 6,593 of you are jumping up and down right now because you just won HQ Words. Oh, you did it. Kicking off the weekend with a win, baby. Okay, let's see. Who are our fastest players in tonight's game? Here we go. In first place, look who it is. Chad 1M. What's up, Chad? He just won $100. In second place, Future Ciders going home with $75. And in third place, Senor Haberstro. You just won $50. And both of them are dogs. I love it. You got dog avatars. You're going home maybe with a pot-bellied pig tonight, huh? Who knows? Congratulations. That is the game for tonight, and congrats to all of the other winners and our latest word nerds, okay, who stopped by the party tonight. I would love to spend our Friday night together, but I'm going to go take a cat nap before I head out to the billiards hall, but I am not good at pool, okay? They just have great baby back ribs there. <laughs> it's all about the food, isn't it? I'm Anna Roisman. You can follow me here all over social media, okay, for International Women's Day. I'm an international woman. I will see you back here tomorrow night and every night for a brand new game of HQ Words. So go make it an awesome Friday night. Have some great conversations. I will see you back before you know it. I love you, Word Nerds. Goodbye! <laughs>